All right, so today is definitely a shop day. We only have one pickup today, and it's actually a skidster. I could go pick up another dumpster, but we're gonna save it for the evening. In the meantime, I'm actually letting Keegan, one of my employees, play with the mini excavator for the first time. And he's learning, and that's the only way you can learn is if I actually let him play with it. So before we actually start doing maintenance, which is the game plan today, gotta do an oil change on the truck, need to service the skidster when we pick it up. Uh, I'm just kind of letting him play with it for a minute. but. I love shop days because I can catch up, do all the things I've kind of neglected to do, but it always means I'm spending money. I gotta get oil, I gotta get grease, I've gotta do this, and then I'm not making money because it probably means it's a slow day. But at the end of the day, it still needs to be done, and that's what we're gonna do today. So we'll see what actually happens. All right, Keegan's been in this thing for about 45 seconds, and- I played Call of Duty. I played Call of Duty? Dang, dude, you're a natural. Dude, I got flight simulator as well. I'm pretty damn close to it. <laughs> a flight simulator? Well, you moved the dumpster. I'll move it back. <laughs> I'll move it back. All right, grab it and pick it up and move it to the back. Geez, seriously, like 45 seconds. Well, I think Keegan will be doing some demos this year. All right, now let it go. Oh, your thumb, hey. Oh wow, he did it without the thumb controls. Your thumb controls up there, by the way, just like the skidster. Oh, dude, that was so much easier to know. I know, you're just using the, your wrist. I know, I was kind of impressed. <laughs> All right, one minute in. Keegan's now learned how it works. So these things are awesome. But the only problem is the walls of these dumpsters are thin. That thing will go through it like butter, but I mean, I have pretty good faith that Keegan's gonna do just fine. I'm really impressed. All right, before we go pick up the skidster, we're gonna pose the uh, mini excavator for rent on the, on the mound we made. <laughs> Even Keegan loves it. <laughs> It just looks staged. I love it. We'll get the skidster picked up and we'll put it right there for the day. Oh, that is so cool looking. That's literally what we made this mound for. We need to gravel it though. All right, let's go get the skid. All right, Keegan's getting the trailer down. We're gonna go see the condition of the skidster. I'm sure it's pretty muddy because when I dropped this thing off, there was snow on the ground. He only had it for 24 hours, but I'm sure this field mudded up. Well, he was nice enough to take some of the stuff out of the tracks, you can tell. But, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Mud. But I mean, shoot guys. It's a skidster. Oh, he left the cab open. That's a bummer. I don't like that because then critters can get in it. But we just got some mud in it. If that's the worst of it, we're okay. Doesn't look like we got any broken glass. We'll get it started to make sure it's good. But we'll clean this thing up and we'll have it rented for later. All right. Oops. Up. Tilt. Down. Left. Right. Forward. Oops. I think we're okay. Well, between packed mud and hydraulic fluid that I spilled. We're a little slippery. We're back. Let's get this bad boy cleaned. Gosh dang it. I absolutely hate these tires. Duty Max. Freedom haulers. Let me know if you guys ever have problems with these. These things were aired up. 
to like 90 PSI. I think they're rated at like 110. So it's not fully aired up, but I don't feel like they should be doing this. This will probably blow out in the next, I don't know, two or three uses. This happens to me probably once a month. And for a while I keep replacing them with these, um, these freedom haulers. But I just recently tried these new tires over here. What are these called? Oh yeah, whatever these are, master tracks. I'll keep you guys posted, but hopefully these are better. This is 14 ply. These are 14 ply. Here's another uh, master track. So actually, both these are completely different tires, and they have no bulges, no sign of blowing up. But once that Freedom Hauler goes, I'll probably replace them with these because these have been on here a while, and we haven't had a problem yet. Here she goes. That's a lot of mud. We're going to drive this thing around the shop, get some of it off before we wash it. Maybe even drive it over to the gas station to get some fuel. Gotta get it cleaned up for the next one. We're gonna go get fuel real quick over at the gas station. But I ain't walking. I walk enough. Keep it up, Keegan. Hey, what's going on? This is rolling up. Gotta get fuel for the power washer. And then Keegan's over there getting fuel for the skidster. Onward! You gotta love small town mentality sometimes. These people do not care at all. They probably also think I'm a moron, but whatever. Either our skidster's really slow or that guy's really fast. There he goes. Almost there. Thank you, kind sir. Might as well multitask. Let him do that while I do this. Sparkly. I didn't film it, but we just used the uh, compression tank to blow out the air filter in the back in the radiator to make sure it was good in the engine bay. So just another little tiny maintenance thing. Check the oil level, check the hydraulic level, and then of course, we uh, check the coolant level, so it should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and stage it now. I think that'll do. That looks pretty darn good. Four rent. Looks like he's doing a wheelie almost. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go put the trailer away, and then from that point, we'll go home, maybe get some lunch, and actually work on some t-shirts. I'm just doing all the things today that I've been neglecting. can't wait until we replace this garage door so I can just go around the shop and pull all the way through because the biggest pain is having that ditch up in front of the shop. So it makes this turn in here with this trailer pretty tough, but you know, we make it work. Keegan got me pretty darn close to the brush mower. We're gonna build some shelves this year where the brush mower sits at the bottom. We'll have the grapple bucket on top, the regular bucket on there. And then a spot where we can put like a snow blade for the skidster as well. That way we can just kind of save some floor space. You gotta get that delicious food though. All right, so we're using my attic, which you can guys can tell I've not done anything to since I bought this house, to make t-shirts today. We're actually gonna turn a workstation in over there to make more shirts and hoodies. We've got different materials we wanna try. Um, but like I said, slow day. We're gonna take advantage of it and make sure it's because we got plenty of people who want them and 
just work on some different designs. So I'm showing Keegan how it works, and he's already talking about how he's going to spend money to buy his own. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Not yet. <laughs> Dang, we ready to press. What a process to make these things by hand, man. Dang, perfecting the design one shirt at a time. I like it. It's finally turning out. Picasso. Now we gotta make 50 of them. All right, guys, end of the day. As you can tell, since it's like five o'clock and pitch black outside, can't stand that, but it is what it is. It's that time of year. But we're working on the design for the shirt, so I really wanna get like a nice design that I can hand out to people in the community. Uh, if it's, you know, if it's attractive to you guys and my YouTube channel one day gets big. Right now I'm still a pretty small channel, but if you like and subscribe, it could get bigger. But anyway, if you ever want one, you know, just drop in the comments if you're interested in one. I'll make a quirky one sometime and maybe I'll sell them on the channel and give people an opportunity to get, you know, some branded attire. But it'll be quirky. It won't have my phone number and stuff on like that on it because I don't think the people in Florida care about the dumpsters here in Illinois. But... Thanks again for watching, guys. Like I said, it's a shop day. We'll just keep uh, vlogging about everything we got going on this year because this year, I hope, is my growth year. I hope I just accelerate. But hope you like the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Do something fun next time.